Hello everyone, my name is Verf and welcome back to the channel. I've always been interested in the one chunk at a time concept. It started with Puka Guy who came up with this and made a few videos before you unfortunately stopped playing. After this series I've watched Slay Brothers one chunk series for a long time and recently Limpert with his extreme one chunk account. If you are interested in this concept I highly recommend checking all of them out. I didn't really want to do the exact same thing, but a Twitch viewer gave me the suggestion to start the chunk adventure somewhere else instead of Lumbridge. I looked into different starting locations, but nothing really interested me until someone suggested the current castle chunk. So here we are, this is Chunky Verf and I'm locked to the current castle game tile, for now. I will be following Limpert's extreme one chunk rules, which means I have to obtain everything in this chunk as far as possible and realistic. I asked Limpert if he's okay with it if I follow his extreme rules and he said yes go for it. So let's get into it and let me explain some stuff in case you are unfamiliar with the concept. The main objective of the account is to complete all of the content within a chunk before you can progress to the next one. Once we complete all of the content we will randomly roll a chunk around the starting chunk. The rules are complete the highest skilling challenges, complete quests and achievement diaries as far as possible. Obtain all unique monster drops, obtain all unique items and complete mini games. Basically I have to do everything I can. Now you might be thinking why the current castle chunk? Can you even do anything interesting there? And the answer is yes, because dungeons are part of a chunk. You do not have to roll dungeons separately. And within this chunk I have access to all of the current catacombs and the Seracnus dungeon. But we will get into this later. There are some exceptions in this starting chunk to progress the account to the next chunk. The Jar of Darkness, which on average takes between 300 and 500 mil Slayer XP to obtain. It is kind of a ridiculous item, and I don't know why it's so rare, but if we get this, that would be insane. The Uncut Onyx drop from Scotizo, and maybe the Draconic Visage, but this is a tricky one for now. Um, I will talk about this in the future. If it is possible to obtain in a realistic way, I will go for it. But most dragons basically one shot me without protection right now. And goals in this chunk, I made a quick overview for skilling bosses and miscellanea. For the skilling challenges, I have to chop and light a U-lock. I cannot fletch one because I don't actually have a way to train fletching because I don't have a knife in this chunk. Steal from the gem stall and cook an anglerfish. And the reason why I have to cook an anglerfish is because I can get a raw anglerfish from the Scotizo drop table. This is one of the few items I can actually process, so I have to get this cooking level. Skilling pets are not required because they are not chunk specific, but I will try and go for them. So for the bosses we have to get a Scotizo pet, the Dark Claw drop, the Raw Anglerfish because I can use it, the Seracnus pet, Seracnus cudgel and Jar of Ice. Those will most likely be the main objectives when it comes to completing the chunk. Or is it? Because there are some NPC drops that will take a little bit. For example the Smoldering Stone from Hellhounds, which is a 1 in 32,000 drop. But I will go for it. There's also a Mask of Ranul which I can get from the Undead Druids. And besides from that it's mostly just regular drops from uh, NPCs. Lots of rune items such as the Scimitar, Kite Shield, Chain, Full Helm. There are a couple other monster drops that I will go for. Uh, I don't think it's really unique drops. But I will probably finish every drop from every monster in this chunk. Because I will be training on a lot of different monsters. And for the miscellanea section there's a long bone and curved bone. Giant and mossy key, dark totem and the orange and blue egg sack from the grubby chest. So yeah lots of things to go for. Some pretty easy and some a lot harder. And I made this graphic to summarize the most important goals in one picture. And I could use it throughout the series if you guys want. Mark stuff green if we complete it. And yeah I think it's time to get into it. My first goal is to get my combat up a bit higher so I feel a bit safer. I am a hardcore and I plan to keep the hardcore status as long as I can. And to do this I can get 5 thieving and steal cake so I can start combat and have pretty good food. 12 hit points per cake, that's going to help a lot early on. This might be the first time you've ever seen me use a bank. Um, but yes, we are obviously using a bank on this account because I think it makes more sense. You can make very big collections of items and supplies for the future. So yeah, we are using the bank guys. There's 10 thieving, been collecting some cakes in the bank and I'm going to use cakes for the first monster to train on which is going to be Imps. 
There we go, that's 10 strength. I've been killing imps uh, hopping around. They spawn in the northeast section of the castle chunk. And a new ashes update is actually amazing. I got 10 prayer XP per kill as well. That's 10 defense. We are now 10 attack strength defense. And as you can see in my inventory, we are getting raw chicken and flour. Imps are actually pretty decent because I can get a few cooking levels from these. I have a plan for cooking in the future, but every bit of XP will count. First random event on the account, a camo piece. I plan on collecting everything from random events and try to complete the collection lock. The still baguette might be pretty hard, but everything else should be very doable. 20 thieving, which means I can now steal silk. And I have a silk stall, which is probably going to be my best way to train thieving to 75. Pretty high pet chance as well. So yeah, another stall unlocked. Been doing a lot of thieving. We are banking all of the silk. So we can sell it later for GP when I do combat trips. And I just got 100 total level. And there's 40 thieving. Nice level. I can now pickpocket city guards, which means I can pickpocket the chasing guards. Uh, I guess that's a task completed. Nothing too special because I need a lot of thieving anyways, but cool. Right, so I train on Implings for a little bit and it's time to move on and upgrade my setup a little bit. So I'm killing hill giants in the catacombs now. I found a flinching spot and they have a few iron items and a steel longsword drop, which I'm going to try and get. The steel longsword would be quite a big upgrade over the bronze sword. So I'm going to kill hill giants for a bit and see if we can get some upgrades. The combat levels are coming in nicely and we did get a giant key which is one of the items that we want to get. Not much we can do with it but I'm going to collect all of the keys on this account which will be pretty cool I think. Alright that is the first upgrade iron full helm. I have no helm right now so that is very welcome. Little bit of defense bonus. Awesome. Yes, there we go. That's the steel longsword. That is a big upgrade because it has a lot of accuracy bonus over the bronze sword. And a bit more strength bonus. So should give me a max hit as well. We've been in for like quite a bit. I think I killed like 60. I might start looking into killing moss giants now because of this upgrade. Uh, because moss giants have a lot of good items that I need. Switch to Moss Giants and that is 30 strength. Very nice. Combat levels are getting a bit higher now, which is definitely a bit more comfortable. I forgot to record the drop, but we managed to get a Mythal Spear from Moss Giants in 8 kills, which is really good. It's actually a really good weapon now because they changed the attack speed on Spears. And they made it as fast as Scimitar, so very good item. The problem with this item is I can't specifically train one style um it has shared and defense i believe so i might use it for a little bit get my attack and defense up a little bit and then try and get a mithril sword i think first genie on the account always love to see these blue men um i'm going to lamp agility because i need five agility for the chunk west of me and then after i get five agility i think we're going to use all the lamps on hunter and get at least 17 because there's a wheat field south of me which means i can go to puro puro after i get both these levels i'm not sure what i want to use my lamps in but we'll figure that out once the time comes Ooh, my first totem piece from a hill giant that is pretty lucky but a very welcome drop to see that is also in a collection lock. Uh, yeah, one out of three pieces for the first totem on the account. All right, we took a small break from melee to get my wood cutting and fire making up a little bit to get some uh, easy total levels in case we get a maze random. The most realistic axe for me to obtain in this chunk is going to be a mithril axe. We only have these three regular trees available to get 60 wood cutting and fire making, which will be very interesting. But I'm going to start woodcutting and fire making uh, until we get 21 woodcutting, which is the requirement for the mithril axe. And then we'll wait for the axe before we continue to get 60. So let's see how this goes. All right, there we go. This should be 21 woodcutting. Very nice. And I think I'm one lock away from 25 fire making. This isn't as bad as I first thought. Um, at least we have three trees and not one. But this will be quite a grind, but it's a very chill one, so um, 
let's uh, wrap this up for now and come back once we have the mithril axe that's 30 attack and defense with the spear very nice base melee stats now 35 strength and 30 attack and defense it's time to go for the mithril sword and focus a bit more on strength because that's going to speed it up the most because of the max hits there it is we managed to get the sword only three more kills after the spear so that's very lucky uh, we can now focus on strength training awesome wow second totem piece uh wow very very nice good rng on that uh two out of three pieces now we are back at moss giants for a bit that's a steel metal which should be slightly better than uh the iron form that we have right now so small upgrade the main item i'm trying to get is the black square shield which will be very nice with the mythal sword together so yeah let's try and get one Yes, there it is. Black Square Shield obtained. That's all of the items from Moss Giants that we need. Uh, defense upgrades wise. So we can go back to Moss Giants for some faster training. And yeah, very happy to get these items. Clean level. 40 strength. New upgrades are doing really well. So I've been doing some Hill Giants with the new upgrades. And as you can see, I almost have a full inventory of loot. We can basically do full trips uh of hill giants right now which is awesome going to speed up the melee training by a lot dark totem top uh second piece from hill giants i think i've killed like three or four hundred right now so very lucky to get that that is the first totem completed on the chunk account very cool one of many i plan on collecting all of these totems while doing my melee grind and then once we have all the gear and stats ready, we can basically send all the totems that we've collected. That will be very exciting. First Bob to get random. The only way to get fishing XP in his chunk. Seven fishing on the account. Lots of free total levels on this. Another item we need. Longbone. Pretty awesome. We got this really early as well. The big item is the curve bone, which we might get. I will be killing a lot of hill giants for a uh, melee protect grind. But that's the first bone completed. And that is another long bone drop. The trip after my last one. Back to back long bone trip. There we go. 40 attack. Very nice. We can now use rune weapons, which means we can wear the rune scimitar from fire giants. Uh, we can't quite go for it because they will destroy me, but awesome. Someone told me they added a new cave with giants in the catacombs. Uh, I didn't know about this, but let's check it out. It is a singles area as well, which is going to be really nice. A lot easier to AFK because I won't be getting attacked by like five. And this area looks awesome. And this is the hill giant room. That looks like a very nice place. So this is going to be my new training spot. And there's 40 defense as well. I can now equip rune armor, which we are going for uh, later on. I think I'm going back to strength again, get some more max hits, but base 40 melees right now. Very nice. I just killed my first fire giant, decided to flinch one for fun, see if we can get the 1kc rune scimitar. And that completed an easy combat task, which I didn't know about, uh, but killing a fire giant in this area completes a task, so very nice. A steel chain body drop pretty massive i have no defense bonus so that's a big upgrade i decided to try and kill some cyclops because they have some eddy weaponry which is an upgrade i have a bit better melee stats now so i think i can kill them but one kill count steel chain body that basically doubles my defense bonuses a couple kills later, the Adamant Two-Hander. We are trying to get the Adamant Maze. However, this is going to be useful because it's my best flinching weapon currently on the account. So that's actually a very useful drop for flinching stuff. Let's go. We got the Adamant Maze as well. We did around 30 kills, which is extremely lucky to get both the Eddy weapons and the Steel Chain Body. It is a slightly better upgrade over the Mythal Sword. And I do get a bit of prey bonus as well. So when I leave my early prayers on and bury bones, I get the prey points back. So I should be able to maintain the prey points. A small upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. And this thing looks absolutely amazing. 
I don't think I've ever used a mace in this game to train my melee stats. 31 prayer. That means I have unlocked ultimate strength, which is actually my best in slot. My best prayer for... Uh, well, prayer flicking and monster killing as well. So that's nice. I think that will give me one or two max hits. Uh, not a combat achievement completed, apparently. Into the... Den of Giants, I think I think that's the task you get for killing a moss giant, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think you complete that task when you kill your first moss giant, so... Oh wait, no! It's when you kill your first moss giant in this area, probably, yeah. Yeah. That's something I needed, actually. That is a mossy key. Uh, that is one of the items from moss giants that I need. I forgot I didn't have this yet. Uh, cool. We have both the keys now from the giants. Quick trip of cooking XP. All of the bread dough and raw chickens I collected from the implings earlier. Uh, there's a range in the castle. So we're going to cook all of this food and see what level we get. All right. We ended up with five cooking. Not bad. We can now cook herring, which we can actually get from Dagonos in the catacomb. So this will be very useful in the future. Killed some skeletons and pickaxes for fun in this spot. And I got my new best in slot axe, which is the iron axe. Not going to use this, but it is. it will be cool to have in a bank. Uh, get all the possible axe upgrades I can obtain. And these pickaxes can drop all tier pickaxes, including rune pickaxe. So we will hunt that as well in the future. But we got the iron pickaxe for now. We cannot actually train mining in this chunk, but... We are able to obtain a lot of different pickaxes, so that's very cool. Ooh, I managed to get my first ancient shard. I forgot about this. I'm actually surprised I haven't got it from any other NPC, but got it from skeletons somehow. I can't make an arc light, but I can use these ancient shards to teleport around the catacombs. I looked up the different teleport locations, and none of them saved me a huge amount of time so i think i'm just going to collect all of these shards in the bank and get a huge collection but that is a collection lock item we still killing hill giants trading the combat stats for 43 prayer and that is 50 strength very nice just got 34 prayer which means we unlock the attack prayer and we now have the best attack and strength prayer available for monster killing What the? I got another long bone. Oh my god. <laughs> this inventory is stacked. No way. 37 prayer, guys. Uh, that means I can use magic protect. Which means I am going to kill shades. Undead druids. We're gonna go on an adventure to try and get the strength amulet. So let's do it. Protect for magic. I found this shade flinching spot in the catacombs. It's near the blood belts and nothing is attacking me here. Shades have a 1 in 4 chance to drop a shade bottom or top. And they give the best possible prey bonus I can obtain in the chunk. I currently don't even have legs. So it will be very nice to have some more prey bonus when I do training. So yeah, let's see if we can get some shade pieces. There we go. Shade top obtained. Second kill. Very nice. Five prey bonus from the top. That is a lot. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, that's the shade ropes. And we got a totem piece. As a nice surprise. Four total kills for both pieces. And a totem piece. That is awesome. Nice prey bonus upgrades obtained. Let's go and check out the undead druids next. So a lot of you might be wondering. How do I get to the Seragnus dungeon? And south east of the catacombs, there is a, a vine that brings you to that dungeon. I can go back and forth through this entrance and basically get to that place. So pretty cool. I had no idea about this until someone mentioned this actually. So quite a lot of places to go to for me. 
All right, we found a flinching spot for undead druids. Let's go kill him and see how long it takes for me to get the strength amulet. First kill for a magic amulet. Wow. It's not the strength amulet, but that is actually really good. Uh, that's the best in slot amulet for magic training in this chunk. So I'm very happy with that. Okay, there we have the defense amulet drop. Both the amulets before strength amulet. This will have some use. I will most likely use the defense amulet when I'm training ranged because I don't have any amulet for ranged. So cool. We got all the amulets. Strength amulet to go. Another defense amulet. Very strange RNG. More fishing levels. Give it to me. 13 fishing. Looking good. Yes. There it is, Amulet of Strength. Only 11 total kills to get all the amulets. Very lucky once again, but I'm very happy to get that early. Uh, don't get a lot of XP killing Undead Druid, so we have all the upgrades we can obtain for now. And we are going back to training and continue it on with the prayer grind. But that should give me one or two max hits. Back at Hill Giants for 50 hit points first maze random on the account for what looks like coal and coins that's not that great but that is one of my best ways of getting coal there we go 50 attack decided to work on 50 attack and 50 defense and then only focus on strength just to get the base stats and attack and strength up a little bit so I forgot that the maze random chests have a lot of useful rewards for me. Runes, arrows, and most importantly, attack, strength, and defense potions. So what I'm going to do is every time I get maze randoms, I'm going to kind of grind out these chests and try and go for the potions. Because I want to stack a lot of potions in the bank for Seragnus in the future. So actually very important. I'm very lucky that these maze randoms have these potion drops. Another maze random completed for more coal, chaos runes, and one full regular strength potion from the chests. Awesome. Bank is looking beautiful. We are already at 5 long bones and 17 giant keys. Two totems as well. Pretty nice. I was not expecting this item from the hill giant grind. We killed a little over 2000 right now. We got the curve bone, which is one in fire, a little bit over one in 5000. So pretty lucky getting this early, but I would say that's one of the first uh, bigger items completed on the list. Very cool to get this early. And in the same trip, we got another longbone, giant keys. Like we, we keep getting all of these items. Very cool. We got a curve bone and a longbone in the same trip. 40 prayer, range protect unlocked. Three more to go for melee protect. And there's 50 defense as well. It's time to switch to strength and go for max hits only for a while. But that's 50 attack, 50 defense. More fishing XP. Level 15, which unlocks Anjovies. Pretty nice. I can actually fish that in one of the chunks east of me. But that's not going to happen for months. Let's be real. Pretty big level 60 strength. I'm very, very close to finishing the melee protect grind. So we will have 60 strength, 50 attack and offense for fire giants. That should be good enough, I hope. And there it is, the big level 43 prayer. We killed nearly 3000 hill giants. We can now use melee protect, which opens up a lot of content we can kill a lot of monsters in the catacombs now with melee protect flicking and go for all the armor upgrades which is the next goal in this account i'm going to upgrade my melee gear massively and we are going to start with fire giants to get a rune scimitar i'm very excited Ooh, that's a steel axe that is currently my best axe but not the best one i can get What? No way! What? 
I'm 31 kills in and I get a rune to Henry, which is one in 5,461. I'm here for a rune scimitar. <laughs> wow, I love this account. Let's uh, let's carry on, guys. Dude, I look like an absolute snack right now. So we looked up the rune to Henry and it's actually my best in slot weapon for now. So I can actually use this thing, which is great. It is super accurate. Okay, now it's... Okay, okay. Alright, the first one was fine, but... This is getting ridiculous, okay? This... <laughs> what? <laughs> this is actually getting ridiculous now. Alright, now I'm a hacker. Okay, you are allowed to tell me I'm a hacker now. <laughs> How is this even possible? Like... This is kind of insane, guys. Um... Okay, this account is crazy. That's a shield left half and an ancient shard in the same drop. I wish that was a spear, but my god, that is one in 20,000. That is such a cool item to get. Nothing I can do with it, but I cannot believe we're getting all these items before the scimitar. But RNG can be strange sometimes, but I'm not complaining. That's so cool. Ooh, a fire battle staff. Same rarity as the scimitar. I officially have got every drop from fire giants now except the rune scimitar. It's actually going to be very useful for magic in the future, I think. So very happy to see that drop. Oh, uh, first longbone from fire giants. Haven't got a longbone from these yet. I have a feeling we are going to get a very big collection of longbones and curve bones on this account in a bank. Very cool. 65 strength whacking fire giants with this absolute unit weapon. That's 5 total strength levels so far from fire giants. Actually getting a decent bit of strength XP here. That's longbow number 10 on the account. We also have 27 giant keys now. Just uh, quickly showing the collection. And nearly 100,000 GP. No way! <laughs> no way, dude. I am done. I'm so done with this. This makes no sense. What? I don't have to kill head guards now because I... Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I've killed 300 fire giants. I've killed... I got every single drop besides the rune scimitar. The rune scimitar is 1 in 128. I have got two rune to Henry's. 1 in 5.4k each. I've got a shield half. 1 in 20,000. And now I've got a rune... Kite shield, which is one in 16,000. That is, I'm happy. Wow, great. What a, what a great way to finish the first trip of the day. <laughs> All right, there it finally is. The rune scimitar. Very interesting grind with lots of great RNG. But we can leave fire giants now. And continue on to the next monster. 317 total kills. So we can use the rune scimitar with the kite shield, which is awesome. Originally, I had to kill head guards to get this kite shield. It's a 1 in 512 drop rate from head guards. They have two unique drops, which is the scimitar and the kite shield. But since I already have these two items now, I will skip those. I'm pretty sure if there's multiple monsters in a chunk that have the same drops, I don't think I have to get the drop from every monster. That would be kind of weird. So yeah, that's awesome. That actually saves a lot of time. The next monster I'm going to kill is Greater Demons. They have a Rune Full Helm drop and Adamant Legs, which will be upgrades. And killing my first one gives me a Combat Diary task. These Ashes give 25 XP instead of 10. And that's 44 Prayer, which unlocks Eagle Eye. So I can now use all the arrows I collected from Hill Giants. I'm going to wait a little bit longer before I use them, but I will get the most out of the arrows now. First upgrade from Greater Demons, Adamant Lex. Quite a big upgrade because I don't really have any defensive Lex yet. And these will be my best in slot Lex until I probably get Rune Lex from Scotizo. Did a pretty big trip. We got a second totem piece and we obtained every drop from Greater Demons except the Rune Full Helm now. I think we are around 200 kills in, so 
Hopefully we get the helm soon. And that's another totem piece. Always nice to see. That completes my third totem on the account so far. There we go. Rune, full helm drop. Took a little bit to get this. Uh, pretty big upgrade over the steel mat helm. It took us 245 kills. Alright, next NPC. Black demons. These ashes give 65 XP. So quite a bit more. And there's 45 prayer which unlocks mystic might. Which means I can start using my runes whenever I want. To get the most out of them. These black demons are tough. I can only kill around 20 per hour. Uh, we are after the rune chain body drop. Which is a 1 in 128. So let's, uh, let's try and get this drop. Probably my most favorite regular drop from these. Is the 50 air rune drop. That's going to help out a lot with magic. Another blue man, always beautiful, and not just one. This lamp should give me my first level. We've had very good RNG with these XP random so far, so very nice to get some early boosts in the XP. Just got the rune Mad Helm, same chance as the chain body. Luckily, it's not completely useless because it doesn't have any negative range attack. So when I'm going to grind range levels, I will be using the rune mat helm for the defense bonus, but no negative range attack. What? 100 silver ore? We just hit big on the red drop table again. That is probably around 1 in 5000. Um, it is a new red drop table drop, so that's pretty cool. It is not a requirement to complete the full red drop table items, by the way, but... There might be a chance that we get everything, but yeah, not going to be a requirement, but very cool. 100 silver ore might be useful sometime in the far future for crafting XP. Look at that beautiful chain body on the ground. I'm so happy because we are 82 kill count and we got basically everything from Black Demons now. So we got a little lucky uh, under the drop rate. I really did not want to go dry here because the kills are extremely slow. And there's a lot of people doing Slayer here. So I have to hop a lot. But very happy to get this. Such a huge upgrade over the Steel Chain Body as well. We finally have pretty decent melee gear now. So this is what the setup is looking like for now. We almost have the best in slot gear we can obtain for now. There's two items missing. The Rock Shell Boots and Rock Shell Glass from King Sand Crabs. And they also dropped the Mithril Axe that I was talking about uh, earlier. So we are going to kill Sand Crabs, get all of the unique items as well. And basically complete the melee setup for now. Only 4 kills in, Mithril Axe drop, which was the most important item from King Sand Crabs. Going to stay here a little longer to try and get the 164 boots and gloves drops though. 69 strength. Nice. Always happy to see more fishing XP randoms. Level 17 fishing. Without fishing a single fish. We have finally got the first rock shell armor piece that we can equip. The gloves. 66 kills in. So a little over drop rate. Not too bad. They don't add too much defense bonuses. But they look pretty cool. Alright. And there's the boots as well. Only 4 kills later. We have now got all the important drops from King Sand Crabs. I really like the way these boots look. And these boots and gloves have like the same stats as leather. But an upgrade is an upgrade. And that basically finishes the best in slot melee setup for now. We have made a lot of progress on this account so far. Looking like a snack. There we go. 70 strength. Looks clean. That's going to be the last combat level for now. 72 combat as well. 70 strength. Last um, melee level for now. And this is the bank overview. We've made taps for like all the important sections, like a skilling tab. We put all the miscellaneous items in the first tab. We have like a food tab. Collected all the lobsters and tunas from monster drops. 
we have the melee tab with all the weapons, armor, range stuff and magic equipment. All of these arrows and roots are coming from all the monsters that we've killed. And will be very nice for future mage and range levels because we are still level 1. But yeah, pretty good looking tab. And then we have a farming and herbal tab that we probably won't touch for months. A junk tab which has a lot of random items uh, but, but nothing really useful. I'm just going to basically dump everything that doesn't fit one of the other tabs in here. And we have a random event tab. I'm going to collect all the outfits and random event items in this tab. So yeah, that's what my bank looks like after all of this progress. We are 72 combat and we have 3 days and 15 hours playtime. So that's close to 100 hours. 16 items in the collection lock and 4 combat tasks completed. Very nice. Hopefully you enjoyed this first progress video. Make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss the next one. Like the video, uh, that way I can see if you like the series. And I'm going to work on these skilling grinds next. So, see you next video.